Hello and welcome to Light Bearers. So today we will determine the moment of this slab, given that our load is 12 kN per meter. First of all, let's draw the collapse mechanism of the slab. Here is theta E. And here is delta. Here is theta C. And here is theta B. Here remains delta. Tan theta equals theta. So theta A is delta all over 2. Delta is 1, so we have 1 all over 2. And then theta B equals delta all over 3. Delta remains 1, so we have 1 all over 3. Since panel B and panel C are symmetrical, theta B equals theta C. So now let's pick panel A and calculate for the unknown parameters. Let's find the area of panel A. The area of a triangle is half base times height. So we have half multiplied by 6 multiplied by 2. Which gives us 6 meters squared. So now let's find the center of gravity for panel A. Since panel A is a triangle, the center of gravity is delta all over 3. Delta is 1, so we have 1 all over 3. Now let's find external work done. External work done for panel A is Area multiplied by load multiplied by center of gravity. So we have 6 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1 all over 3. Which gives us 24 kilonewton meter. So let's find internal work done. Internal work done for panel A is... Moment multiplied by length multiplied by theta. So we have m multiplied by the length of a is 6. Multiplied by theta a is 1 all over 2. So we have 6m divided by 2, which is 3m. So now let's pick panel B and calculate for the unknown parameters. Let's call this section B1 and this other section B2. 
So the area for B1 is half base times height since it is a triangle. So we have half multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, which gives us 3 meter squared. And then the area of B2 is base times height. This is the rectangle. So we have 4 multiplied by 3, which gives us 12 meter squared. Now let's find the center of gravity for B1 and B2. The center of gravity for B1 since it is a triangle is delta all over three so we have one all over three why the center of gravity for b2 since it is a rectangle is delta all over two so we have one all over two Now let's find external work done. External work done for B1 equals 3 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1 all over 3. Which gives us 12 kilonewton meter. So, external work done for B2 equals 12 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1 all over 2. Which gives us 72 kilonewton meter. So, summation of external work done for panel B equals 12 plus 72, which gives us 84 kilonewton meter. Now let's find internal work done. Internal work done equals moment multiplied by length multiplied by theta. So internal work done for B1 equals M multiplied by 2 multiplied by theta B, which is 1 over 3. So we have 0 0.67 M. And then internal work done for B2 equals M multiplied by four multiplied by one all over three. So we have 1.33 M. Now let's sum up the internal work done for panel B. Summation of internal work done for panel B equals 0.67 M plus 1.33 M. 
So we have 2m. Since panel B and panel C are symmetrical, external work done for panel B equals external work done for panel C. And internal work done for panel B equals internal work done for panel C. So now let's apply the principle of virtual work, which says that summation of external work done equals summation of internal work done. So we have external work done for panel A which is 24 plus external work done for panel B, which is 84 plus external work done for panel C, which is 84 equals internal work done for panel A, which is 3 plus internal work done for panel B, which is 2M plus internal work done for panel C, which is 2M. So we have 192 equals 7m. So let's make m the subject formula. We have 192 all over 7. Which gives us 27.43 kilonewton meter. So our moment m equals 27. 43 kilonewton meter.